Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to reverse the order of the uh, emails in an email chain in Gmail. So as you probably know, uh, that Gmail will put the oldest email on the top, so when you're reading you have to scroll down to the bottom to get to the newest one, and then you could reply from there. So if it's a big email chain, then it might be kind of a little extra work for you there. So what you could do is you could install this extension called Gmail Conversation Thread Reversal by uh, Cloud HQ, so it's a free extension. But one thing to keep in mind is they might make you sign up for an account, free account, uh, because that way when you do so, you'll have a dashboard and then you could see all their other apps and actually install them as well. So there's a lot of cool stuff here to choose from. But it's no big deal to actually do that. It's just take you a couple minutes. So once you're in there, you'll have a little button here to reverse it. So now you can see here, uh, they got this PowerPoint presentations at the uh, top. And we got the zip file at the bottom. So if we click on this, now the zip file at the top and the presentation at the bottom. And now you could reply right from here to the newest email. So it's kind of a cool feature. So I'll put a link in the description for this. You could check it out. And then one other thing you might want to do too, if you have a lot of uh, attachments or you know threads in a particular email and you want to break it out, you could go to your settings here and where it says email threading, you could turn off conversation view. We'll have to reload. And then we'll break down each email into its own email. Rather than put them all in one thread, it'll have individual emails for it. So if you like that kind of view better. And if you don't have that setting down there, you should be able to go to uh, see all settings. And under general conversation view, you could turn it off and on there. Just like that. Just make sure you save it at the bottom. If you do change it, then I'll have to reload. All right, so once again, I'll put this in the description. Try it out for yourself. It'll be in your extensions up here. And if you don't like it, you could just uh, click on the three dots and remove from Chrome when you'll be back to normal. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.